What's up guys? In today's video, we're gonna be talking about should new grads start in the ICU? It's a question I get asked all the time. We're gonna dig into it in today's episode. It's just me today, Monica's at work, so stay tuned and uh, we'll answer your questions. What is going on guys? Welcome back to A Couple Nurses. In today's video, I'm going to address a question I get asked a lot of the time, and that is, should new grads start in the ICU? Before we dig into today's content, be sure to like, share, subscribe, share with any new nurses that are considering ICU. And if you find any value in this video, be sure to comment nurses rock down in the box. So let's dig into the question. So should new grad nurses start in the ICU? I'm only uh, a year into after graduation. So I've only been a nurse for a year and I've been in the ICU for seven or eight months now. And I don't think there's a clear answer to this question. Yes or no, I don't think that. But if you talk to a lot of uh, other nurses that aren't in the ICU, they're gonna tell you that you need to get your med surge experience, get some experience somewhere else, and then transfer to the ICU. I don't know if that's true or not. I worked in a med surge floor for you know, a couple months, and then I went to ICU. And the only thing that I think helped me from that floor is really learning how to time manage a little bit and also just getting familiar with the charting process. But I think as a new grad, the main thing I was focused on is just getting a job, just making sure that I bring some income in. So while I wanted to start in the ICU initially, I didn't get offered in the ICU. So I was like, hey, I gotta get this bread. And I went ahead and just took a surgical position and then eventually transferred into an ICU position whenever the opportunity presented itself. I think that is advantageous for new grads to start in the ICU because I think it makes yourself super marketable as a nurse, but also you have to think that you're gonna have to put in a lot more time towards learning and catching up. Even me seven, eight months into ICU nursing right now, I still have so much that I'm learning. I'm asking questions every single day. Some of the veteran ICU nurses have the, just this wealth of knowledge. So whenever you do go into the ICU, especially as a new grad, be prepared to come home, learn a little bit more about the disease processes and interventions. Even when you're on shift and you have a little bit of downtime, you should be digging into the charts, looking at the timeline about what happened to your patient, you know, up until this point there, the point to where they're at right now, which could, they could have been in the hospital for two or three weeks whenever you receive them. And just a quick report is not going to give you everything that happened. Look into the patient's charts, you know, hop on Google, look up some uh, some of the disease processes and the pathophysiology behind what's going on with the patient. Start thinking more critically about why we're giving certain fluids, why we're getting certain, certain drugs, what may be some reasons so that we don't wanna give a medication. At the end of the day, whether you're a new grad or somebody transferring into the ICU, you need to be coachable and ready to learn, 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 and ask plenty of questions because that's how you're gonna prevail and that's how you're gonna excel. And I think most importantly, you need to ask yourself, why do you wanna work in the ICU? Do you wanna make yourself more marketable as a nurse? Do you wanna stress test and see how much you can actually learn and know as a nurse? Do you just like the patient population that comes with the ICU? Are you trying to prepare for an advanced degree such as CRNA? So these are questions that you need to be asking yourself and don't just choose ICU because you know it's a quote unquote cool thing to do. Figure that out. Once you figure out your why, you're gonna become very clear about what you wanna do and you'll be able to display that to the managers that are hiring you. And uh, I think that's what you need to figure out before you even think about going to the ICU. So should new grads start in the ICU? I don't think it's a clear answer, yes or no. I think there are some advantage, advantages to starting in the ICU. I think that there are some disadvantages to starting in the ICU, especially if you're someone that can't handle, uh, can't function under pressure, uh, because there's gonna be plenty of situations where the pressure is gonna be on, patient's gonna be crashing, and you need to be calm, cool, collected, and be able to direct traffic, essentially. So I hope that helped any of you guys that are thinking about ICU. Um, if you have any questions, put them down in the comment box. And until next time, guys, peace out.